Hey guys, welcome to Banana Engineering. My name is Chris and this will be my first video released ever on this channel. I'm a mechanical engineer and teacher as well, so I hope I can share with you my experiences through all those projects. I uh, try to give you some little projects that you can follow along from the start, modeling all the parts, building them together in an assembly, and later on making some drawings like an assembly drawing or the technical drawing of the parts. At first I want to show you how the assembly is uh, built up, which parts we got. Therefore I will go into a section view over here and I will show this later to you when we build up the assembly. Click here on the plane. So this assembly is made out of a bracket here. We have a bushing, a washer, a screw and a pulley. So for us we have to create the bracket, the bushing and the pulley new. The washer and the screw they are already in the system in Inventor in the content center. So at first I like to uh, model the bracket with you together. So to make the bracket we have to go on file, new file and then we have to create a part. In this case we take the norm, the right one and say create. The part is started. So I once again show you here on the technical drawing what we're going to model right now. This will be the bracket right here and you can do a screenshot. Let's go on. So for the bracket we have at first to make a sketch. A sketch you start it here on this button. Click here and the next thing is you have to choose a plane where you will start your sketch. So in my case I personally prefer to have a sketch that is in the Y and X plane. So if you go with your mouse over the planes you have it displayed here X Y plane and I choose this plane. Okay here we go. The center of our sketch is here in the middle this little dot. This symbols the zero point of the X and the Y axis here. It's always important to know where your axes are pointing to that you're not getting lost with your sketch. So to make it easier to draw the sketch that the lines they find easier the, the center of our sketch it could be helpful if you project the planes into your sketch like so. Go on project, take here the planes, this one uh, gives you a vertical line and this one a horizontal line and then we can start our sketch. So the sketch will be built up this way that we have this corner here or edge of our bracket right in the zero point of our coordinate system. Go over here and let's pick up a line by clicking on it then go to zero bring the line here and then so we lost the line match the dot up again with the line click escape and so this is uh, the first thing that's good enough for our drawing. So the height of our bracket is 60 millimeters so we can click here on this line and the horizontal line to make the dimension or the other option is I just delete it once again you can click straight away the line you draw. 
Okay, this is good. So we have made this line over here. So we have to finish this sketch to extrude at first our bracket. Therefore, we have to use this dimension over here, the 50 over here, and now we know that the bracket has the same dimension here as here as well. Go over, click dimensions once again, if you lost it, say 10 millimeters for that, go online, and now just finish your sketch, make sure that those lines are horizontal uh, or vertical and horizontal. This one vertical. Now make sure that the dot is here, the end of your line is matching up and snapping to the line you, you've drawn over here and finish it. Okay, so we said the bracket down here got 50 millimeters, give it a 50. This green line shows that one dimension is still missing and we can move it. We don't want to have it. Everything in our sketch got to be purple and we could use a 10 over here. But as we know, this dimension is always the same as this one. We can set those lines equal. So go on constraint here, check this box, say I want to have this line made the same length as this and now you can see the constraint that those two lines belong together and are equal. So now our sketch is purple and therefore our sketch is done. So let's finish the sketch by checking the green checkbox over here and now we have our sketch. There you can see it, sketch number one. To make it 3D, let's go on extrude. So, now the profile was already checked and the program found the profile that we drew, drew here. There we go. Now let's see how wide this part is. We got a width of 30 millimeters here, and now we have to extrude this sketch um, 30 millimeters. Go back, say 30. Now, I want to have it a little bit different. Go back here on the extrusion, click, right click, and edit the feature. I prefer in that case that you choose a symmetric extrusion like so. Now you can see that your part is extruded 15 millimeters to the right and 15 millimeters to the left. Why did I do that? The thing is that you have those holes over here and this over there, they are straight in the middle of the part. Therefore, I prefer in this case an extrusion to the left and to the right, symmetrical, that I have the thread in the middle of it. Okay, so I say okay, and then I modify my extrusion. And there you can see that sketch number one right now is below the extrusion. It's part of the extrusion. In case you want to modify the sketch, just go on sketch right click and edit sketch. Now you can change dimension in case you want to. Just finish it again and we're done so far. We close this one here and we're fine. Okay, so let's insert the chamfers. Go here on the chamfers and the box for the edges is already selected. So now we can select the edges, one edge, two edges, three edges, and now we have to turn the part. Turning the part works by pushing shift on your keyboard and the middle mouse button, so then you can turn it. To get to this corner on the drawing, 
we need a 5 millimeters on 45 degree angle. So this is set correctly, same distance here. So it will be 45 degrees, but we need 5 millimeters. So we are fine with that. Still push shift and middle mouse button to turn around. If you only want to slide it around, then you only push the middle button. If you want to zoom in and out, use your mouse wheel. Okay, good. So now we want to bring in those two holes from the top side of this lower part. At first, we need to know the position of the holes. The holes seem to be right in the center of the part and they are 10 millimeters away from this edge and 20 millimeters apart from each other. To make the holes, we have to do a sketch first. Go on sketch and then on this surface. I prefer to have this part extruded symmetrically. So let's make use of this. Go on project again and now open up your planes, your origin planes. Then we have to search for the plane that lies in the middle. This is the XY plane where I designed my sketch. Okay, and now I can use this line as alignment for my points. I have to create two points. So pick up the points over here, place one point here, place second point over there. And now we have to make sure that it's 10 millimeters away from the outside edge. So click on the edge and you can see that the edge will be projected in our sketch as it gets yellow over here. Now second point is, our second hole will be 20 millimeters away. Bring in the dimension to the first point. Okay, and now the two points, they're not green anymore. They're purple, that looks good. We just pull it around and nothing moves. Absolutely perfect. Go on finish sketch, there we go. We only created a sketch, but not the holes. But right now the holes know where they have to be. So click on the holes and the, this feature will automatically detect where the points are. Okay, so we have to make slight adjustments. Um, make sure for the hole, you have a simple hole and we want to have here a counter bore from the top. Click this one. So we have to choose 11 for this box, 6.4 for this and this one 6.6 .6. looks great we make sure that the termination is through all as we want to have the hole going through the whole part so we are happy with that and say okay well now we have those two holes here go on file save create a new folder and in this case we call it pulley assembly open it and we save this part as bracket so last thing that's missing is the thread over here in this part go on sketch and let's say we want to create a sketch here we uh, need a line that shows us we're in the center. Go here on project, select the plane, the XY plane that's straight in the middle. Select the point, place the point right on the line. Oh, you see I missed it. I take the point again, I can move it around till it locks here to the line. Now it's locked to the line and still one dimension is missing. So I bring in the dimension from here to the bottom. 
and now the point is right in place and I exit my sketch by clicking on finish. So last thing to do is bringing in the, the tapped hole here and this time we don't need a counterbore, makes no sense. So we uncheck this by clicking none. Here the isometric profile. Okay, we have to go for the right size and select a 12 millimeter. And yes, it's an M12 and that's good. So let's see if we have here, check that we are full depth and we go through all as well. So let's click here. And if we zoom in, we can see the thread in the hole. So we work correctly and here it comes out as well on this side. And we're done with this part. So save this. So hopefully you like this video so far. In the next part, we are going to make um, the pulley and the bushing. So see you in the next video and please like the video if you found it informative. Bye.